Bellevue is a designated Ebola treatment center in New York City. Las Vegas glitz and glamour to the Jersey Shore, but it never turned a profit. University Hospital in Newark after returning from Sierra Leone where she treated patients with Ebola. After a weekend of fierce opposition from the White House and some medical experts, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo updated his state's mandatory 21-day quarantine protocols. Following screening at the airport, Cuomo says anyone who shows no symptoms of Ebola can now quarantine themselves at home. During those 21 days, health care workers would check on them twice a day to monitor their temperature and condition. Nurse Casey Hickox is the first healthcare worker isolated under the new protocols in New Jersey. Hickox is now being held in an isolation tent here at University Hospital in Newark after returning from Sierra Leone where she treated patients with Ebola. She calls her treatment inhumane. The isolation tent has a portable toilet but no shower. She has hired a team of civil lawyers to help get her out. She knows how to treat and deal with Ebola. Unfortunately, Governor Christie apparently does not. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is standing by his state's protocols. I don't believe when you're dealing with something as serious as this that we can count on a voluntary system. New Jersey's quarantine policy will most likely face its first legal test this week as Hickox plans to file a federal lawsuit within days. Two women who call themselves the Revel Twins wore matching T-shirts in tribute to the latest casino casualty in Atlantic City. We were here from the beginning. We needed to be here at the end. The nearly $2.5 billion Revel Casino will close Tuesday morning after going into bankruptcy twice since opening a little over two years ago. Revel's hotel closed Monday. Ronnie Dowling works at the resort but hasn't lost hope. We know that we have to all come together work out the problems and uh, get organized and, and move forward. There are more losers. The Showboat Casino Hotel closed Sunday and Trump Plaza will close later this month. A total of four casinos are shutting down this year, leaving 8,000 people out of work, almost a quarter of the city's casino employees. Revel was the hotel that was supposed to turn everything around. It was designed to bring Las Vegas glitz and glamour to the Jersey Shore, but it never turned a profit. Analysts say Revel alienated gamblers with a mostly smoke-free casino and no initial plan to offer Players Club benefits. The high rollers didn't want to come here. They stayed wherever they were. The Revel sign came down Monday. There's no sure bet on what's next for the building or the city. Brian Webb for CBS News, Atlantic City, New Jersey. New York City Dr. Craig Spencer is the fourth person to be diagnosed with Ebola in the United States. Spencer tested positive for the virus at New York's Bellevue Hospital, where he is in isolation. Spencer was likely exposed to the virus earlier this month while working with the group Doctors Without Borders in Guinea, West Africa. A Facebook photo shows him wearing the protective gear he used while caring for Ebola patients. Guinea is one of the three West African countries at the heart of the worst outbreak on record. Spencer had been self-monitoring for symptoms since his return to the U.S. He reported fever and abdominal pain Thursday morning. Video from the New York Post shows an ambulance with police escort rushing Spencer to Bellevue Hospital where EMTs wearing hazmat suits were then decontaminated. Bellevue is a designated Ebola treatment center in New York City. Healthcare workers here have been preparing for a situation like this for weeks. Spencer is being kept in an airtight room like this one. A CDC GO team will work with his doctors to make sure all protocols are followed. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York.